took a lot of courage, though, to do this. I mean, I, Ralph Lauren, for instance, has always wanted to do a movie. You know, he's, like you, kind of obsessed with it, feels he would be a great director of a movie, but he hasn't, I suspect, because he feels it might, you know, ultimately damage the brand if for some reason it didn't work. Did you have any concerns about it maybe, you know, not working and therefore damaging the brand? No. Um, it isn't that I didn't question that it might not work, although I don't know that I even thought about that. I just knew it was something I had to make, and I, uh, I suppose it could have damaged the brand, but I don't think of my, I, I mean, I guess I have to think of myself as a brand. To me, as I said, they're two very, very different things. I'm not sure that people would have judged what I do in fashion any differently if I had not been able to make a successful film. I don't know, but as all I can say to Ralph is he should make a movie. <laughs> he should. The clock is ticking. It's ticking for all of us. If he wants to make a film, he should make it. Like who is your creative hero? I mean, you, everyone... Ralph is one of my absolute mm -hmm. creative heroes. Ralph Lauren really invented this idea of a lifestyle. Ralph was not a, just a designer, and he's a great designer, but he was the first creative director of a world. Uh, you know, and there, there are a few of them. Karl Lagerfeld, I have to say, I get credited a lot with being the first of a certain, of a generation, yes, to reinvigorate an existing house. But, you know, Carl was the very first one to do that at Chanel in the yeah, early Yeah, he pointed 80s. the way, didn't he? Actually? Absolutely. How you could do he it. pointed the way. And I love Carl, and uh, he's a friend, and, uh, he, you know, Carl is quick, man. I know. And he's, he's not missing a thing. He's also rich in culture and life. So and, yeah, rich. You know, it's wonderful. I love him too. And not just he's great. with money. He's but great. <laughs> but of course, that wasn't the case uh, with Yves Saint Laurent, was it? Because, I mean, when you took over that label, he was not exactly supportive of uh, it's his so successor. Funny. It's so funny. I've been so quiet about this for so long, and I said it recently in an interview, and now everyone's picking up on this. Because I, you know, I don't like to say bad things about people. But no, Yves and Pierre were not supportive. They were at first. Uh, until I think the women that sat in the front rows of their shows were sitting in the front rows of my shows and our sales were doubling and doubling and doubling each season and then all of a sudden they became not supportive uh, and they were pretty difficult but that's okay. Well you said evil I think was the word. I <laughs> did say evil and people keep bringing that up and I don't mean they were evil people but they're pretty evil to me. I've got a four-page letter from Eve. I have two of them handwritten. You know, in one collection, you have undone what 40 years of my life went to build. And, you know, things like this. But that's okay. You know, I think Eve was one of the great, great designers. I have tremendous respect for him.